All right, everybody, we're going to move beyond the essay organizer at this point, and, and here's your essay structure. If we were to go ahead and label um, each of these boxes in here, and you go ahead and you, you join along with me, um, you know, I think you know how this works now, uh, whatever Fabio writes down, you write down. Um, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to mark this thing up. So if this is your, um, treat this like a checklist, I guess, you know, in a way. Um, uh, you know, body paragraph, body paragraph, body paragraph. Um, this is the symbol for paragraph, by the way, just so you know. And uh, conclusion. Um, So if this is, you know, uh, your paragraphs, um, let's come over here and let's label each of these parts. And we're going to label them just outside of the bubbles. Um, this is a great organizer for you to, to use. And so, um, so I've structured it in a way that you can actually write all of your information inside to give yourself some, you know, kind of graphic organizer to use when you're organizing your ideas for this essay. It's also going to come in handy this week as you begin to watch the film that you're going to watch Truman Show. And uh, and you can make some notes on here too as as you go and as you structure your essay, uh, you can go in and and, and actually use this um, yourself. So here we have the the first bubble, and this is that this is that broad question. This is the um, you know what would you call it? You would call it the hook. The hook uh, actually is strategic. It is uh, exactly how it sounds. You go fishing and you hook your reader in with. Uh, with the with the broad subject, you don't get really specific yet, but you just leave it broad, and you know you cast the net wide, and you get them to you know you basically sucker them into reading it. Um, I have uh, I've painstakingly uh, left um, students' essays just you know to to mark the very last because their hooks were so bad I didn't want to read the essay, and I would tell them, hey, uh, so your hook isn't that great. Um, Actually, it, it it was to the point where I left your essay until last because I just I it didn't make me want to read it. So you got to be careful that your hook is really engaging and really sucks the reader in. Um, then we've got that developing information that we talked about earlier. The developing info is really needed. This is all of that information that your reader does need to know, you know, about your topic. And you'll see that later in the introduction. Um, in the introduction notes uh, on how to put together that great introduction, you'll see and we'll highlight together the uh, um, all of the all of the developing information that goes into putting your paragraph together. And finally, this is your thesis down here. Your thesis is a combination of your both your claim and your grounds. Um, It's it happen it can happen all in one sentence, um, and there's some artful ways that you can do this. You can have you know your claim stated, uh, you know use a transition word like because, um, and then go into your grounds, or you can even you know try to flip those around if you're if you're feeling more artful. But this is your basic introduction, uh, and this is where this is going. I'm going to stop this now, review it if you need to, and uh, and I'll see you on the next video. All right, I'll see you there.